K-I-L-R Taylor Games Hello gamers, simmers, and pilots, I am the Kilo Gamer, and welcome to the tour around the world featuring Sublogic Flight, or Sublogic Flight Light, kind of specifically it's Flight Light, because uh, on the manual it says Flight Light, even though the box says Flight, <laughs> maybe I'll just call it Flight Light, I think it's less confusing. Um, and people won't think of Microsoft Flight, which, yeah, well, yeah, <laughs> really nothing much to say there. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and talk about our flight that we're doing today. Okay, so here is the Sublogic map. This is actually a small sample of what they used with the Sublogic East and Sublogic West collections uh, as far as scenery disc is concerned. So we're here at Greater Kankakee and we're going to be flying over here to Bloomington Normal. Uh, it's listed here as Bloomington Normal but um, as we know uh, later on it's called the Central Illinois uh, Airport. So uh, we're going to fly to Pontiac first. We're going to pick up a Trans Am there. And then we're going to go down to Bloomington Normal. So, yeah, we're just going to head to this four and then over here to Bloomington. That is the plan uh, for this flight right here. What are the graphic options? Um, what you're seeing, pretty much. <laughs> there's, not, there's not much option. <laughs> I'll pull up the uh, the menu again. Uh, this is DOS, by the way. This is in DOS box. Uh, but you can see mode, uh, situation. All right, let, here's the graphics. Auto complexity and window detail. So there's auto complexity. I forgot what that was. Then here's things where you can set up window details. That's it. That's all there is. I mean, there's there's really nothing else. Uh, then there's uh, scenery so yep what you're seeing is this this is it <laughs> there's nothing there's nothing more uh, than what you're seeing it is a very very basic uh, little graphical sim and I think that's why this one is not very well known um, it kind of slipped through the cracks. Uh, eventually, Sublogic took what they learned um, and they put together the very first Pro Pilot uh, in conjunction with Sierra. And it was after that that Sublogic was pretty much done. All right, we're going to tune in Pontiac, which is 109. Point six. That works. Now another thing that we can do here is we can go into planning and we can go to quick route setup and it's only like from one destination to another. This is where you start getting the little uh, arrows and, and stuff. Uh, so we'll put in here Kankakee uh, we'll say take off from runway, uh, I don't know, 22. And then our destination, Bloomington. Which runway do we want to land on? Well, let's say, well, I would say ILS, but, well, does it give us the ILS here? 
Oh, by the way, it gives you uh, it gives you like Ada's tower clearance departure. None of this works, by the way. <laughs> it's just there. Um, the comm radio doesn't do anything. It's just there for show. It doesn't pull up a Ada's information. None of that. Um, I guess maybe they were going to do something with it later. I, I have no idea. Yeah, actually, runway 29, that should be fine. So, we'll select that. All right, 24. Glad that you joined us. These episodes will eventually be on YouTube, and so you can come back and watch at any time. Okay. Turn off the brake here. Get some speed, that might help. Now, see, the main runway over there looks like it might be lit up. Ah, there we go. Yeah, we can use this to take off from. I can use this. we can look behind so you have your view options you can look behind you can look off to the side so you still got that and those controls work just the same as they do in flight simulators the shift and the, the numbers on the numerical keypad Okay, so Pontiac is in this direction. It's in this general direction here. So we're going to head off in this direction. We should be getting a signal here pretty soon. <laughs> the hamster's giving his all, Captain. It gotta take the strain much longer. <laughs> you cannot break the laws of physics, Jim. <laughs> there's Klingons on the starboard bow, starboard bow, starboard bow. There's Klingons on the starboard bow. Scrape them off, Jim. <laughs> well, it's life, Jim, but not as we know it. Not as we know it. <laughs> it's worse than that. He's dead, Jim. Dead, Jim. Dead. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've, I've heard that song a little too many times. <laughs> I don't know. It never gets old. That song never gets old. <laughs> yeah, now it's stuck in your head. You won't be able to get out of your head now. <laughs> You're welcome. Well, John, you said you needed a distraction, right? Maybe that'll help. <laughs> Why aren't we getting a signal from Pontiac? We should be getting a signal. So, 
Okay, so when it comes to the airports, uh, we're going to want to look, see, see how there's brown there? So you're gonna, we're going to want to look for the brown, that's the airport. The little colored stuff over here, that's just city lights, that's what that is. Whoops. <laughs> I thought I was going up. Nope, I'm going down because I was looking I was looking uh, out the rear window. Uh, uh, flying tip for you folks, when you fly, look out the front window. Don't look out the back window. But things tend to be a little backwards if you look out the back window. Just a thought. All right, let's uh, let's center our vor needle. You can see there's a little arrow pointing up. That means two, right? Just like good old Sublogic Flight Simulator. Okay, well. We know which direction we need to go. We need to go this direction. Go up to 5,000. Yeah, I we've got Pontiac tuned in. I I saw it I saw it move too. So I have them tuned into the same thing. I was just checking to see if maybe one of the gauges was broken or something. Oh, you were thinking the altitude might have something to do with the uh, not picking up the signal. Yeah, I, I don't think the altitude really has anything to do with it. Because uh, I don't think they thought that out. This is, if anything, this is like flying Sublogic Flight Simulator 2, but with better graphics. Now, keep in mind, I said Sublogic Flight Simulator 2, not Flight, not Microsoft Flight Simulator 3 or 4, Sublogic Flight Simulator 2. <laughs> Although the Sublogic Flight Simulator 2 for the Amiga, which Microsoft Flight Simulator 3 and 4 were based off of, um, definitely has better graphics than this. But um, hey, let's put the alt altitude hold on here. Welcome to the chat room. <laughs> J. Mike has now left the chat room. J. Mike has now joined the chat room. J. Mike has now left the chat room. <laughs> You're going to be like that one guy that we saw on The Sims Online the other day. Where he, he kept, kept jumping off the pizza table. So, you know, if I ever apply for a virtual airline, you know, uh, if they say, what kind of experience do you have flying? It's like, well, I've got about 100 hours flying on Sublogic Flight. <laughs> See what kind of response I get. <laughs> do you mean Flight Simulator 2? No, 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 Sublogic Flight. I've never heard of that. <laughs> Yeah, Max. Good old Max.
It's like he would be at the table and then on the little uh, control panel where it showed all the sims that were that were at the stations his would keep disconnecting because it would say uh, need sim and then you saw the three pictures of the other ones the heads headshots of the others and so his station kept saying need sim and then we'd be sitting there waiting <laughs> Oh. So we got 29 miles to go to get to Pontiac, and then we'll be going to Bloomington after that. <laughs> you call yourselves a, a virtual airline. I could, now I could be mistaken. But I think I might be the only one uh, on YouTube, and Twitch for that matter, that is actually doing flights with this simulator. Now I have seen other videos on YouTube that show like uh, bits and pieces of it, but as far as full flights, I think I'm the only one. Probably because I'm the only one crazy enough to, to do to, to do a video like this. But as you all know, I, I find I find these uh, simulators fascinating. Really, I didn't know Bloomington was the home of Colonel Henry Blake. Oh, I wish I knew that when I did my X-Plane flight. Because the X-Plane flights that I do on the World Tour series have a documentary at the at the end of the places that we that we land at. And and now what I found out was like uh when I did some research on the area was Bloomington is Bloomington Normal is the uh home of the beer nuts. The beer nuts factory is there. Uh, it was it was shortly after that I decided to go buy a can of beer nuts uh, to go test you know to try them out. But I didn't know about that about Henry Blake. That is that is good man. I wish I knew that. I wish I knew that when I did that uh, did that video. Yep. As a matter of fact, if I recall, um, we did a virtual road trip from the airport into Bloomington and drove to the factory. Thanks to Google Street Maps, <laughs> Google Street View, and taking frame by frame shots, which took forever, and putting them together into an animation. Which. We've got time until we get there, so hmm, maybe I could be a little clever here and pull that up. And it even has chapter stops too, so it's, it's easy to find. I think I might have to look it up as central now. You know what? KPMI, that'll work. Whoops. That's not quite what I wanted to do there. There we go. That's a little better. Ah, that's the wrong video. Darn it. There we go. This is it. 
That actually pulled up the one from Champagne. Okay, we got 18 miles until we get the Pontiac. Okay, so let me go ahead and t turn on the display capture so you can see this. Okay, so here is, this is X-Plane 11. We had just landed at uh, the uh, Bloomington Airport. Um, I turned on night vision <laughs> so we could actually see. And this is where it goes into the documentary. So I show like actual pictures of the airport. buffering and pretty soon this is what flight simulator 2020 is going to look like holy crap really But anyway, all right, so I talk about the history of the airport, and then uh, we'll go into a road trip here. Come on, YouTube, this sucks. Experiencing interruptions? Yes, we are experiencing interruptions. Air cargo. Syria isn't just about commercial flights and private aircraft. It's also busy with cargo. So FedEx could be another thing that we might see there. Interesting. The edge. For pilots, runway two, runway eleven, turn flights. Okay. Mash was one heck of a show. We're out here waiting for our rental car. Okay, so here I'm just like, uh, oh, you know, here we are outside of the airport. I might want to take a look around here at the uh, front of the airport. This is that parking lot that I told you about. Now it's blue because uh, I was trying to simulate night. <laughs> then there's this thing. <laughs> uh, artistic license here. So here's the road trip. See, so we we drive into town. Yes, this took time to put together. The flying part was easy. The documentary part's what took time. Here we are at our first stop in Bloomington North. Uh, let's see if I this thing would stop being stupid. Um, one source said... Let's see if this is Here the... Here we are. Our next location. Nope, that's not the beer nut factory.
It's in here somewhere. Building? This is the... Let's see if you get a good look at it. Jimmy John's right next to it. Okay, there's a theater that's here. Yeah, that's perfect. It's the, the normal theater, I believe. It's a real popular... There's a bunch of fun park. Why are you crying, Tom? Oh. I hear my... I hear my kitty that passed oh, away yeah. not too long ago. Yeah, here it is. So here's the Beer Nuts uh, company store. Of the plant is also available. Yeah, so the information. Um, uh, and there's a website so we we took the uh, street view to to get to the uh, Beer Nuts store. There. So yeah, so I'll pull up. Um, stuff on the on the website that's kind of like what the documentary is and we got five miles here so it looks like we can switch over to Bloomington now 106.20 Maybe it's 108.20. Okay. And there's our heading. Heading of 2-1. No invite, huh? Yeah, those videos that I came across, apparently that guy's been putting together quite a few pics. Uh, there's like another one of France. There's one of uh, like Asia and Africa. They're fascinating to, to look at. But at the same time, I'm kind of like, it looks so real that I, I kind of want to just experience it for myself, if you know what I mean. You know, instead of looking at the, uh, the, the pics, it's kind of just wait until it comes out and then start flying it and just be amazed. I think I'd be amazed either way, but... But it's nice to see with all these locations that they're not just, um, they don't look just generic. They, they actually look like the places that, um, that are being rendered out. Major cities is one thing. What I'm curious about is all the little small airports. Welcome to Sublogic Flight. For those who are joining us, this is a flight simulator that uh, I think originally came out in 1994, right around the time of Microsoft Flight Simulator 5.1. You may be looking at this thinking, uh, wow, this doesn't look right for its age. Well, Sublogic, they still existed uh, even when Microsoft had uh, brought many of the old ones on board, like uh, Bruce Artwick, for example. But 
since Microsoft now owned the IP for the uh, the, the the of what of, of Flight Simulator, Sublogic had to go back to the drawing board and make a make a new sim completely from scratch. The only thing that Sublogic had the rights to was the scenery database. Uh, but the simulator itself, they had to go back to the they had to go back to the drawing board and build something completely new, which is what you're seeing here. Um, and since they had to do that, they figured, well, why don't we target the flight simulator uh, to a different market? You know, ones that might have been interested in flying, but thought it might be too hard to get into. And uh, here you go. This is this is what they came up with. Okay, so we see some uh, red arrows up ahead. They don't look like arrows, but they are. That's going to be our little visual cue as far as getting into a uh, traffic pattern. <laughs> as Vader would say. Now, well, by that time, he wasn't Vader anymore. He was Anakin. What we're doing here is we're recording episodes for the World Tour series. Um, I meant to do this uh, a couple months ago. Just kind of fell behind with all the different projects that I have going on. And actually, this is the first time that I've streamed this here on Twitch. And for all I know, this is the first time anybody ever streamed this on Twitch. So today could could be the uh, the grand premiere of Sublogic Flight on Twitch, for all I know. So what I've been doing, and not every uh, every single uh, recording, but <clears throat> I used to record all these episodes offline, and some I still do. Uh, but then uh, when I started getting more and more involved with Twitch, I thought, hey, why not stream at the same time as recording? Giving people a chance to be a part of the show and actually be on the flight as it's actually happening. And also, uh, viewers who join me on the live stream will get to see these way more in advance than, uh, than when they show up on YouTube. So, now these particular episodes that I'm recording right now are ketchup episodes. And I don't mean ketchup and mustard, but ketchup as in, you know, like we're behind and we're catching up. But there will be others.
So for all future viewers who are watching this, you gotta, 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 you gotta go to Twitch. I'm gonna make a song. I'm gonna call it Gotta Go to Twitch. Gotta go to Twitch. You gotta go to the Killer Gamer. That'd be me. You gotta go to the Killer Gamer channel and follow. So that way you can be a part of all this fun. My, my, this here Anakin guy. Maybe Vader someday later. Now he's just a small fry. <laughs> That should be a that should be a clue that I know who that is. The day we lose him would be like the day we lost Robin Williams. It will be a sad day for the world. Let's not get depressing. <laughs> you know, we don't need to follow these arrows. There is a runway right up ahead. I say let's just go ahead and land at this... Because uh, this is the airport. up here. Ah! Okay, well. <laughs> that sounded like it hurt. <laughs> That's typical normal um, <laughs> landing procedures for the killer gamer. <laughs> that did. That sounded like that hurt. It was more like, ow! Ow! You know, Atari 2600 style. Open <laughs> Kingdom style. Atari 2600 style. However, however that went. <laughs> yeah, I was going in a little bit fast. Alright everyone, I want to thank you for joining me on this flight and I hope you had a good time and if so, go ahead and click that like button that helps me out and the channel and the video and the series uh, helps get it out there for others to be able to see. Um, the more activity that's on the video, the more chances people have of being able to see it in their feed. And if you enjoyed it, well, there's probably be some other people out there that might enjoy it. Uh, this is not a very uh, popular simulator, um, and I might be the only one or one of the very few people that are doing videos on it, so help each other out on that. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe to the channel, because that's a good thing. You get notified of when uh, new content is uploaded to the channel. And then, you may have noticed that I've been streaming this on Twitch while recording. So if you follow me on Twitch, you get to be part of the show. You get to see all this stuff weeks and months 
ahead of time. And then you get to interact with me too and ask questions. Hey, that's a win-win situation right there. And then Instagram, you get to see some pictures and uh, stuff of projects that I'm working on uh, behind the scenes. Twitter for all the official news, killer news uh, and announcements, retweets that I think might that, that you might be interested in. And Snapchats for fun. And then Patreon for those of you uh, who'd like to take it um, you know, a step further and be able to support me and what it is that I'm doing here, help support the channel and help me be able to make it grow into something bigger because I can't do it by myself. And I appreciate all the help that you're willing to lend. Other than that, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. I will see you on the next leg of our tour around the world. Have a killer awesome night.